Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you a very interesting thing and very important thing uh, through PyRevit. So normally I used to take as example electrical things like cables and like this, right? Because I am basically electrical modeler and also interior designer, exterior designer, architectural modeling also. Bit a little bit easy for me. So, so what I did in uh, I took a multidisciplinary layer. I used took a multidisciplinary template. When I draw some of cable tray, around six cable tray. Then I applied six different kind of filter. So how I had a filter, that's a more visible visibility graphic override. In filter, and uh, I add this filter, if you go edit, you will see here I choose cable tray and cable tray fittings and service type equal to CT1. And the same time in the each service type, I put CT1. And this is CT02 like that. And if you go to filter again, in the pattern, here I used to make split pattern field. And I chose color also. I did same here, select. And most of the people don't know these things also. That's why I'm explaining clearly. So, I add this multiple filter. If I want to, if I go to 3D, you will see here gray. And I copy same into the power tool, also gray. So normally what we used to do, we make a template here from the view. View template, we will create a template and assign the template to here. So it will be copy the filter and the same time it will copy the screen and uh, copy other things also like scale and some other uh, settings also but sometimes it will be irritated actually we need only filter here i need actually we need only filter so in the review only option is okay. so if you install by revit in the pi revit if you go this last place the left side in here you will see one extension uh, yes uh, where's this extension goes yeah you click the extension you will have one window like that here there's a tool called ef so actually i already installed if not installed you can let's say this one not installed yet so we install extension the same you will in, you have to install the ef once you install the EF code, we come here. Okay. So now I have filter in the L1. I added. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add to and go to here, view filter, copy to another view. So here I will choose L2. So when I choose L2 power, this interface. Uh, no, we have to choose L1 actually. L1 and program. And I have too many the filters what I added. You can make select all and this. And select destination view. I have to you can choose multiple view. So I will choose here right. View filter. So it will be known in commands. Yeah. It's all filter at to the L2. If you go VV, you go to the filter, you will see everything is already here. So you don't have to so you don't have to make a template and stuck with other settings. So if I want to copy to the 3D also same. Filter, you create another view, 
So from L2, you can choose L2 and select all and remove this one. You select destination view. Say pretty. And select it. Preview. And it's done. You can see this one. It's already done. So like that, you can copy filters uh, easily, and uh, you can manage uh, your work very easily, and you can do your work very fast. So you are uh, you will be not stuck with the template once you have these tools. So normally, I am used to teach you very important filters, and later little bit little through my videos. If you're not subscribed, my channel subscribe so we can. Until next video, take care.